Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to use the Anconc uh, keyword list tool. Okay, another video shows you how to download Anconc and get started with the software. So I'm just going to jump in and load in the journalism or press uh, subcorpus of the Brown corpus, which is a million word corpus of general English, and then get started. So first I'll go to open files, and here I'm already in my uh, folder for my corpus and I'm going to select A, B and C of Brown which is the uh, press or journalism subcorpus and open these files into Anconc. Then I'm going to go to keyword list and click that and I'm ready to start. So the Keyword list tool lets you find words in your corpus that are unusually frequent when compared to the same words in a reference corpus. Now the measure of use unusualness is often called the keenness strength, and so we call words with significantly different frequencies from those in the reference corpus keywords. Now there are various ways to calculate the keenness strength, and I'll show you the two measures that Anconc uses later. The keyword list tool also lets you search for words in your list so that you can find their frequency or keyness strength measure very easily. So let's create a keyword list. So we just go to the bottom of the screen here and click start. And if you click start, you'll notice first that it, the software says no reference corpus word list is available generate a reference corpus word list in the keyword tool preferences menu. So it's telling you that you don't have a reference corpus to compare your word frequencies with. So let's go to the tool preferences for the keyword list tool. If we go here, first I'll quickly show you that it does have some other preferences, for example, so that you can hide the different columns like frequency or keyness or keyword. We also have some options, for example, to treat all data as lowercase, which is activated. That means that when it counts the frequencies, it will assume that all words are lowercase, which is normally what you'd want. And when we're sorting, normally we, we are not interested in the case, but if we click on treat case in sort, it will sort the results with um, uppercase words coming first and lowercase words coming second. You'll also see here the keyness value method, and it currently has log likelihood as the choice. This is probably the best measure to use, but we also have another measure called chi-squared, but I'll use log likelihood for this demonstration. And we can also uh, specify a threshold value, and I'm specifying here all the values, but we can cut the list with, for example, the top 100 or the top 200. It's also possible to generate an, some something called negative keywords, which are those words which are unusually infrequent in your corpus when compared to the reference corpus. So let's look at the reference corpus here. And there's two options. One is to use raw files. So uh, files just like your own corpus. Uh, we can also generate a word list in Anconc and then use that word list uh, as a reference word list to calculate our frequencies. I'll show you that in a moment. So let's just use uh, the raw files now. So first I'm going to uh, select my reference corpus. So I'm going to click on Add Files. And you'll see that this is very similar to how we would load in our normal corpus. Now I'm going to compare the uh, brown subcorpus on journalism or press with general English as a whole and for that I'm going to select all the brown corpus files. So I'm going to load those in here and you can see now that we have 15 brown corpus files that represent general English. Now I need to load those before we can do the analysis so I'll click load and you can see it's reading in the files and it will then use those frequencies to compare. Okay, so it's now ready. So I'm going to click apply. And now we're back into the keyword list and you can see here that the reference corpus is loaded. Now let's hit start again. 
and if you click start you get another warning which is telling you that Ancong needs to jump to the word list tool to generate a word list so it uses the word list tool to create a list of the frequencies of the words in the brown corpus su uh, subset that you have here and then it's going to compare those frequencies with those in the reference corpus and it's just proceeding now to create a keyword list and here it is now you can see that the uh, list is very different from a normal word list we have for example a frequency of 385 for the word mister appearing at the top but a uh, word has appearing with a higher frequency second and the reason for that is because we are sorting these uh, keywords by their keyness values uh, with mister appearing at the top and the keyness values dropping as we go down you can see here that this is how the sort is being ordered sort by keyness so the results show you that the word mister is unusually frequent in the subcorpus on journalism or press english words like mrs or kennedy or president or khrushchev um, famous politicians from the past are appearing in this subsection and words like a and the and of and in and so on are not appearing here because they are very frequent in this subcorpus and also very frequent in the corpus as a whole so they're not unusually frequent in here let's now search for a word in our keyword list and the word I've been using many times is the word report now I'm going to not click start because if I click start it will then recreate the entire keyword list instead of that I'm just going to go and click on search only and then that will quickly jump to my word which I know has a frequency of 42 in the corpus but this keyword list tool now tells me that its keyness value is 3.2 now if we look in a table of statistical values we'll find that 3.2 is a little bit below the value that we need for uh, significance at the 5% level. We would actually need a score of around 3.9 or so. As with other tools we can select a word and jump to that word using the concordance tool and see how the word is used in context. And we can also uh, search for words or search for strings of words, search for words with case, search for regular expressions. We also have an advanced search option so we can search using our file list. And this is very similar to many of the other tools that are available in Ancong. We can also sort the results by keyness value or frequency or the word or the word end as in other tools and we can also invert the order so for example the lowest keyness value appears at the top and the highest keyness value appears at the bottom now let me quickly show you how to use a word list as the reference corpus so this might be useful, for example, if you don't have a reference corpus, but you do have a list of the words in that corpus and their frequencies. So to do this, let me just quickly uh, close all the files that we have here. I'm going to go to word list and create a word list of all the brown corpus. So I'm going to select all the corpus and then I'm going to uh, start and just create a standard word list. This will take a few moments. Once this is finished, then I'm just going to save these results in a file. OK, so the results are now here. So I'm just going to go to File and then Save Output to Text File. And this will save the word list to a plain text file. So I'll click on save and here's my dialogue and I'm going to uh, uh, navigate to my uh, main folder and just save the results here. I'm going to call it uh, brown uh, 
uh, word list like this. I'm now going to go back to my subcorpus as I had before. Uh, so I'm going to open files and just select my three uh, subcorpus files as before and then recreate the word list just for those three files. Now if I want to create a keyword list uh, and I don't have the original reference corpus, what I can do is go to Tool Preferences and here instead of using the raw files of the brown corpus as, you, as I had before, I'm going to select using a word list. So I'm going to now navigate to my word list and load that instead. So I go to uh, files, open files, I navigate to my brown word list and open that into the software. So you can see I have now just a single word list. I'm going to then load that into Ankong. And then the procedure is very similar to before. So it's now just loading in the file, counting all the frequencies for this uh, file. So now that's ready. I'm going to click Apply. And you can see that uh, if we go to Keyword List, uh, the reference corpus is loaded. And if I click Start, we get exactly the same results as before, but now we haven't used a set of raw files, we've just used a single word list. So that's how you would use a word list from a corpus that you don't have. Let me finally show you uh, one other tool preference option, and that is to show negative keywords. These are words which are unusually infrequent in the corpus that you have. So I'm going to apply that and hit start again and it will now find my keywords at the top but if I scroll down we will find at the bottom uh, highlighted in blue these are words which are unusually infrequent in the corpus so words like you and I she and had are very unusually infrequent in this sub corpus so that's the keyword list tool Thank you.